the machine shop? Yeah, this is Big Gus's machine shop. Come right on in. What can I do for you? Got a sign over here. Oh, sorry. I didn't see the sign. I don't have my glasses on. I broke them this morning. Uh, anyway, I got myself a 350 Chevy block out here in, in my truck, but um, how much to board 300's oversize? Do what? Hey there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, skit, uh, our little comic skit on uh, the girl going to the machine shop to have her engine board three hundredths of an inch. Okay, today's title of this instructional video is how to read in thousandths of an inch. And if you're in the automotive industry or if you're in the, a machinist, you are going to have to learn, or an engineer, you're going to have to learn to read in thousandths of an inch, okay? That is the industrial standard. So you could just about forget everything that your teacher taught you in school when she was teaching you decimals, okay? I'll give you an example. In school, they would have you read that right there as one-tenth of an inch. Or they might have you read this number here as three three hundredths of an inch okay but in the industry we refer to everything in thousands of an inch so let's make this let's put two zeros here and we're going to call this one hundred thousands okay and as you in our video the reason the machinist did not know what the young lady was saying because he's not used to the terminology of three hundredths of an inch okay because we read everything in thousands if she'd have walked in and said, I need my board, engine board 30 thousandths of an inch, he would have known exactly what she was talking about, okay? So that's what today's video is about, is to just show you that we read everything in thousandths of an inch. Now we have tools to measure that with, okay? And I want to show a couple of them to you here today. Here's a veneer caliper, okay? And this is an analog type, it's kind of an older one. It has a dial here. I don't know if we can zoom up here, but we can see the zero all the way down here. We can see the big one mark. That's representing one inch, okay? And you'll notice that it's divided into 10 segments, okay? So each one of these marks is a hundred thousandths of an inch. Now this dial here, every time it moves from zero to a zero is a hundred thousandths of an inch, okay? So let's measure something. We're just going to measure this big socket here, okay? And then we'll write the number down up here on the board so I'll show you how it's written out. This is measuring two inches, 365 thousandths, okay? That's the measurement here, so let's write it down for you. Two inches, 365 thousandths, okay? And that's the way that we measure that. Now we also have, here's what we call a micometer. The micometers come in all different sizes. This is a two to three inch micometer, which means that it will measure things that are between two and three inches, okay? And it will measure it within a thousandth of an inch, okay? And here's another type of measuring tool that we use in the industry. This is called a dial indicator, okay? And you can set this up, I actually have a little stand for it, and this is good, for, you can zero it, and you can measure run out. Every time this thing, each one of these marks on here is a thousandth of an inch, okay? So you can set this up on the back of a crankshaft, and you can check your in play, you know? You might have five to seven thousandths of in play. You can uh, set it up on a brake rotor, uh, and spin the brake rotor and see how many thousandths of an inch of run out that you would have in your brake rotor, okay? So these are some tools that we use in the industry for measuring in thousandths of an inch. Friends, this is just a short little video. I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Take care.